Now I've zoomed in and uh, turned the laser off for a couple minutes and then turn it back on. So the laser tube is now warming up and we can see the, the peaks drifting from one side to the other as the laser tube changes length as it warms up. All that means is as the, as the laser tube changes temperature, uh, the, the, its internal mirrors spacing is increasing, changing the resonant frequencies that the laser puts out. And so we can see that showing up on our, on our Fabry-Perot scan. When one peak disappears from this end, another peak appears at this end, and they just keep marching along as that laser tube length continually changes. Now, I can also uh, adjust the, uh, the memory of the scope so that as it draws these traces, they stay, they stay darkened as the peaks scan along, and that makes the envelope, the overall envelope, a little easier to see. Now I'm going to freeze that and use the cursors to measure the width. The peak height is one, one, two, about four boxes. And so if I measure the width at one, or roughly one third of that, the one over E height, it's kind of about here. This width tells us something about the temperature distribution of the atoms that are emitting the light. 